Holy cow, I wish I could have gotten that on uh, film, but it was just too time sensitive to get it. So if you look at the previous uh, short video, you see that uh, this, I had the uh, bed perimeter clamped with like, I don't know, two boxes of these binder clips. So, and I have four left in that box, and there's what, 10 in a box or something? 12 in a box, so 20, I had 20 binder clips around the perimeter. And that, those held, and it held around the perimeter. And it held it to the bed, held the magnetic plate to the bed. But what happened was, so this is glued. This top surface is glued to this magnetic, well, to the steel sheet. And printing at 100 degrees, I'm sure, and on the bed, I'm sure it didn't help. So basically, the glue, it, it peeled... Uh, if you look back at the other video, and I'm not sure if I, how I can insert that. I guess I can figure it out, but uh, it seems like a lot of editing. Maybe you can just look. Uh, actually pulled this laminate surface up off of the steel sheet to the point where, in a panic, basically, I had to grab the corners, peel it off, like more than halfway. Peeled the glue right, and the glue was all sticky and shiny, very sticky glue. And I was able to push it back down. I can't believe how flat I got it. For what I mean, it was bad. You can see it in the other video. At first, I just thought it had lifted off, and the and the plate was the bed surface was uh, deformed. But it, the steel wasn't deformed. It was just the sticker. This is basically just a sticker. Turns out this is just a sticker with the high temperature, <laughs> not quite high enough temperature adhesive so i'm just uh, trying to push it down around the edges now i mean there's not much i guess i can uh, sort of squeegee it there's a lot of, i got a lot of glue oh wow look at all these bubbles you see those bubbles that's from exactly what i'm talking about see that bubble right there see, if I can get it. see these bubbles like this whole thing was peeled right off I mean, not like peeled. Oh, did you see that? Bubbles? Look at all these bubbles. So, looks like it's still salvageable. Funny thing is, a while back I did notice a few bubbles, and I kind of attribute it to printing with polycarbonate. So, just be aware if you're going to print with. Oh, there's a ton of bubbles. It'll still print fine. They're not very big. And as long as I'm not trying to print, you know, a sheet of plastic paper which I've been known to do for fun of it, <laughs> for the challenge, for the education. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, I am uh, having one of those uh, days here. Uh, not really, but uh, some, <laughs> some uh, interesting stuff going on here. See the, uh, I just heard a pop, so obviously I'm getting more bubbles. Oh, there's a big bubble right there. How well they come through on the video probably not very well but every time a lot of times i say that and it really comes through well in the video so i'm not sure oh, oh, there's one a bit of one there oh, that's a pretty big one there so you should be aware don't get too uh carried away printing large polycarbonate now i'm tempted to uh huh Maybe just like PEI on glass. Huh. I wonder if I should try it with my PEI bed from my Ender 3 S1 Pro. If that might stick better. I still see bubbles here. Like I say, I had noticed some bubbles previously anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Just minor bubbles. Kind of hard to get in here too. I guess I could, low, I could push the bed down a little bit. I mean, it's not bad. It'll print fine. <laughs> I should try it. I should try one of those uh, single layer prints. Yeah, you can see there's all my clamps. I just dropped them down through there just to hurry up. Because I want, I'm like, it was cooling off and I did the short video. And uh, I, even when I was doing just the short video, I was like, man, I got to hurry up and do something about that before it cools down too much. And then I'm totally screwed. Um, but... 
I saw on the bright side, it was just, the glue was so hot that it was, uh, it wasn't easy to manipulate at all. It was actually, I had to pull really hard to get get the corners off. So like the corners were still stuck, but they were like drawn in. Like, like this sticker was pushed in that, this sticker in this corner was pushed in that way. Like, I don't know, eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. And then it like bubbled up and it was like off of the, like a lot of like, all around the perimeter, like the edges were mostly there, but except between the clamps, there would be like a ridge. You can probably see in the other video, and it was really ugly looking. It was really, I thought it, was, I thought it destroyed the print bed, but it looks like it's very salvageable, so that's good. Maybe I'll order another print bed just in case I do end up destroying it. I think about that sometimes. Um, actually, last I looked, they were out of stock. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna have to think about. Yeah, so I'm trying to print these uh, clamps, I mean these hooks, that were supposed to be, well, like five inches tall or so. Man, this thing is so warped. But, that is not happening on this print surface. Now, I printed years ago on my Taz 6, I had printed some a big, beefy hook, bigger than these two hooks, much thicker in all directions. It was basically, I made this big J-hook to hang my uh, electric bike from. And that bike weighed like 75 pounds, weighs still. <laughs> and uh, it, uh, that hook, like I could, I'm like two and a quarter, I could hang off of that hook. That hook is beefy. And that held on the print bed, but that print bed was uh, PEI on glass. Jeez, now I think about it, I'm lucky to <laughs> break the glass. And uh, uh, but maybe I did. <laughs> maybe I did remove it because I broke a few of those. They were expensive, boy. I'll tell you what. But uh, maybe, maybe I need a uh, glass plate, like a PEI on glass, or maybe even, like I say, maybe even PEI on cheek still. Maybe that's my solution right here. Grab it right here while I'm talking about it. So maybe I believe this is PEI. So this is on my under three. And I have a piece of paper stuck to it for some reason. This is my Ender 3S1 Pro. I'm sure I still need to clamp these down because I had to clamp that one down. The sticker didn't come off until I clamped it. It lifted the whole magnetic. It like it was like this on the other print. I don't know if you saw. You can maybe see that video too. Like the whole corners were lift up, lifted up, and so that's why I clamped it down with all these binder clamps. Like I say, 20 binder clamps I had all around this thing, and. Uh, if you ever do that, by the way, I, oh, I meant to watch it, but I had to barely clamp it on the edges like this, so when it went through the leveling, that it wouldn't uh, hit the, the nozzle wouldn't hit these. And I had to pop some of these off. You can pop these handles off, like to clear the fan here. So uh, maybe I should, I could have done a little bit of a tutorial on that, but that's all that is. That was basically all it would have been. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm going to try it again with this guy and uh, clamp it all down and see what happens. So uh, I guess uh, if this is interesting so far, which is interesting, this is about the most interesting that's happened to me printing for in a while. Of course, I haven't printed in about a week. For, just been, I've been focusing more on work, to be honest, uh, or trying to, although I haven't too much. <laughs> what the hell did I do all week? Who knows? Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna try this. So uh, stick the ground, stay tuned, and uh, ah. That doesn't stick. Oh, maybe it's because the magnet, because this guy isn't on there. Yeah, it'll stick. it'll stick on there. Once I throw this on there, we'll give that a try. We'll throw some clamps on there. And uh, we'll try it again. Although, I think I might modify the model a little bit. I was, I was just messing around with these. And I think I want to make this leg of it a little bit longer. And I'm not sure if it'll really help. But... It's like chicken soup. Can't hurt. So, anyway, stay tuned. <laughs>